our, our philosophy is very simple. One death is one too many. Since the beginning of the year, Megan Bibb County has already seen nine pedestrian deaths. And Officer Robert Heydrich says the numbers are turning heads at the Governor's Office of Highway Safety. Bibb County, unfortunately, uh, is one of, in the you know top 10 or 12 counties in the state or for pedestrian fatalities. If you've driven around Macon recently, you may have noticed bright yellow billboards showing a person on a crosswalk. This is the office's latest attempt in asking drivers to slow down and look out for people on or near the road. Uh, we did look at data to kind of see some of the roads uh, in our area, more pedestrian fatalities than some other roads. In the last 10 years, Macon Bibb has had a 60% increase in pedestrian deaths. In 2015, Commissioner Elaine Lucas helped create the Pedestrian Safety Review Board with the goal of helping lower pedestrian deaths. We're not just sitting mourning with the families. We are also trying to do all we can to make this community safer. Lucas says her team hopes to address the issue by creating more sidewalks, better lighting, and asking the state for safety additions along state roads. We want to work with everybody, with anything that involves cars and people being in the same space, that we create as much of a safety net for our citizens as we possibly can. Elaine Lucas asks that the community do their part as well. If you're going out walking, jogging, or biking, she says it's a good idea to wear brightly colored clothing and stick to the sidewalk if you can. And if you do need to cross a street along your way, it's best to wait for one of these. In Macon, Peyton Lewis, 41, NBC News.